This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo for each of them. In this presentation, I will model these strands of kelp that you see here and show how they were animated. All right, I'll be creating the kelp here, and I'm going to start out with just a single flat leaf. I'm going to use the deform tool quite a bit here, so let me start with a bulge. I'll select the leaf, and let's bulge that outwards a little bit, maybe something like that. Let me turn off my grid snap. Get a nice leaf shape there. Now to give this a little bit of dimensionality, I'll use a twist, maybe something to that length, and then I'll bend that upwards with a radial bend, maybe about there. Next we want to take this leaf and tilt it upwards. So how about we use the transform tool for that. I'll click on the leaf, use this little widget to tilt the leaf upwards, maybe about to there. Next you'll see me create the entire rest of the strand of kelp in about two moves. So I'll start with a multi-copy and using the transform tool, let's say about 44 copies. So I'll select the leaf, let me zoom out so you can see all the action here, and I'll scoot one leaf up about to here, and then as I twist you'll notice that each new copy, the rotation is based on the previous copy, so that's why I'm getting this kind of spiral effect of all of these leaves on my, um, my kelp strand. Now all these leaves have their own local coordinates, and you can use that with the transform tool. If you turn off uh, lock to world axes and turn on transform individually, you'll notice if I zoom here into the bottom, you'll notice that all of these leaves have their own little widget. So if I rotate one, they're all going to rotate about their own local coordinates. It's kind of like using clones if you've used those before, but, uh, uh, but it's just with the transform tool. So I'm going to bring those leaves up into a little bit of a tighter configuration. Next, let me select all those and I will use the join tool. This will essentially make this function as one entity. Um, that means then I can use the animated deform tool. Let's do a radial bend, or excuse me, a linear wave, and I'll use that linear wave to make this uh, strand of kelp appear as though it's kind of gently swaying in the currents of the water. So now I've put my animation on there. Let's edit that so it's not quite so drastic, maybe something with a little bit uh, smaller of a wave. So let me open up the tracks for that linear wave. I'll set the height down. Let me expand the width so there's fewer waves within that object. Then I'll animate the offset, and that will have the effect of making that wave appear as though it's traveling through the kelp. You can see here, it's a, it's a little bit subtle, but uh, probably appropriate for kelp. Now the nice thing about these animated deforms is you can apply them to other objects. They function kind of like groups. So here I'm turning on a two-dimensional strand of kelp that I've created previously, and those, those uh, objects are all joined into one entity. And what I can do is open up my score palette and my objects palette, and I can take an object and drag it from the objects palette over to the score palette, and then you'll notice that the deform will be affecting that newly transferred object about its own local coordinates. So as soon as I drag it into this little group, did you see it pop there? That means that it's now animated just like the uh, 3D kelp is. Let me hit play and, and you'll notice that now they're both animating uh, just the same way. So you could animate a whole forest of these kelp strands just using one animated deform group. And here's the final movie of our strands of kelp, all modeled and rendered within Formsy.